What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Damone, and today is hot as hell. <laughs> Man, it's so hot. So, um, today I worked out early in the morning, like, um, because I was, my toothache, like, you know, if you guys ever had a toothache and turned to, like, a headache, it was annoying, right? So I took some ibuprofen, and I was out driving and stuff, and, um, I just came back to the house like I wasn't feeling it I went to sleep at like 11 o'clock man <laughs> I got up like 7 I was like man I gotta do something with my life so I went ahead and uh worked out and uh got it out of the way um so all in all it's a good day I see that Shay finally posted his damn workout yeah I see you man I see you about damn time uh but anyway um so I want to talk a little bit more about uh, you know, a lot of you guys have kind of jumped in and are really kind of doing your thing and have chosen to opt in and, you know, be a part of this 12 week challenge. And, and really guys, I just have to say thank you. Honestly, I know like it takes a lot sometimes to like get things started, but like once you get started and you stay consistent with what it is that you want to do, um, you'll start to see amazing things happen. Although sometimes it's not as fast as we want it to happen. Uh, these things can and do and will happen as long as you stay consistent. And then also, um, I'm offended. Um, I had a comment. Dude was like, I got a job. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'm like, that's great, dude. Uh, you know, so I'm just going to put this out there, man. Like, I work 40 hours a week plus, like, doing a regular job. On top of 20 to 30 hours building a business. On top of taking care of kids and a wife and still get my workout in <laughs> so I, ju I just want to make that clear um, so if I could do it anybody can do it and also like I want to kind of use that I mean you guys can see the comment in the video I mean if you guys just scroll down I mean it's right there but I just want to kind of use that as an example like you there's no such thing as not having enough time to do the things that you need to do to propel you to the next level in your life you know what I mean there's no such thing as not enough time what there is though is a priority list or prioritization or whatever you know your priorities are right so if your priority is to be successful your actions are going to be quite a bit different than if your priorities are just to go to work at your job right um, or if your priority is to help people, then your actions are going to be quite a bit different than if your priority is to just beat the hell out of people, right? So it really, really just depends. So today, I'd like you guys to ask yourselves, what are your priorities right now in life? And what are some priorities that are helping you, like helping propel you to get to the next level? And what are some priorities that might be holding you back? I mean, this is a big deal. And you guys are watching the series entitled Stop Being a Little Bitch. I mean, you guys, look, I'm sorry, but who is going to like watch a series like that? You guys got to be some kind of mover or shaker, right? Or know that you deserve more or want to be more in your life, right? So with that knowledge, like knowing like for a, a title, like a crazy title like that to attract people like you understand that you have something inside of you like you got some drive you got some commitment you got courage you got all kinds of stuff going on because you want to conquer yourself and with that I mean it opens up an incredible amount of opportunities you just have to take them so today um, look at your look at like I said your priorities and kind of figure out which ones are more important to you um, and what actions, based on the actions that you've been taking, you know, which ones are you reinforcing? And if you need to adjust and then go back in and kind of redo, maybe take a little bit of time from here and put it over here, um, then definitely do that. But figure out what's important for you, your driving force, and then just do it. Just do it. Again, like the easiest remedy for anything, guys, is just to take action. So when you're working out, take action. Even if it's not perfect, take action. Um, I heard this quote. Um, I've I've been reading this book called The Advertising Effect, right? And uh, he he, <laughs> uh, or no no, it wasn't Advertising Effect. It was Grant Cardone, right? He was like people people that are perfectionists are liars, right? Because what they are is they're just making up excuses of why they can't get started. Like they're like, oh, well, I just, I'm just waiting for this 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 and this ha to happen so I can do this or this needs to be perfect before I can take a step. But he's like, but those people are liars because even if everything was perfect, perfect, they still wouldn't take action. And he was like, the best course of, uh, the best way to handle this basically is to, even if you're not ready, just go and just move, just create it. And then 
adjust it as you go along because fortunately it takes time for the market to catch on to what you're trying to do so even if you put out an imperfect product and you and you you know you grow it along the way by the time it gets to you know um you know mass media or like it hits it's like big explosion and boom chances are it'll be ready for that exposure so don't let this is not ready this is not this is the you know all those little stupid reasons prevent you from doing the things that you know you need to do but anyway so with that being said y'all i'm about to head to work now um and with that being said i love y'all y'all have a wonderful day uh, we're gonna post this video i'm gonna get the workout in um i'm gonna wait till i finish my full eating cycle each video uh, before i post like my um what i've eaten you know my diet and workout and all that stuff um but i'll definitely get that to you guys in the video in the comment section so you guys can see every single day and uh with that being said y'all like i said again i love y'all and we'll see y'all in the next video peace